Pack your bags, grab your hat, don't look back, this is it, let's take a trip, no regrets, bust a train, back a plane, whatever might be, not a whole lot of cash, but enough for ice cream, got a whole lot of plans, some might call them pipe dreams, but we gotta keep moving till we see what life brings. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we just landed Marugame Station for today's trip. First stop, of course, the rental cycle. Hopefully they have electric. Because I'm trying to just coast through this mug. Apparently very uh, easy to navigate size city via bicycle. So uh, let's go get us a bicycle. All right, we got the bicycle. Now it's time to find some of the famous Marugame Udon for lunch. Looking forward to this. There's an adver advertisement for a festival here. July 30th. There seems to be a lot of festivals on Ju uh, July 30th. I guess that's a big festival day or something. I don't know what that what it is behind that, but the city I live in as well, there'll be something big going on July 30th. The restaurant that we're looking for should be somewhere around this area. So I'm just, uh, I think we're almost there. And just in case you guys, and just in case you guys are wondering, I did get the electric. That's how I ride so buttery smooth around here. All right, this is it. This is the spot. Mendoku, Mendoku, Marugame. Mm, let me try that again. All right, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the food and it looks delicious. So this is one of those uh, self-service udon places. They have a fair amount of these in Japan, but I, don't, I haven't been to a whole lot of them. So it's still a little bit confusing to order everything. And like everybody's like rushing through, there's a lot of people on lunch from work, you can tell from their fit and stuff. They're kind of just pushing people through the line, so. If you don't know what you're doing, you might get a little overwhelmed here, but we got it. We got the udon, which this area is very famous for udon. And then this city has its own like special marugame udon is what they call it. So I've had this area's udon before, this prefecture's udon pretty dang good. I've never had this city's Marugame Udon. So we're gonna hop in here. I got the shrimp. Chikua. Which I don't know what Chikua is in English, but here it is. Chikua. And then I don't know what this stuff is either. <laughs> but you usually throw it on top of the, the Udon like so. And you can get hot or cold Udon. And I got the cold one today because it's pretty hot outside. So I'm gonna chow down in this and uh, I'll see you guys afterwards. The Uchiwa Museum. Uchiwa is a, the paper fan. You can see right here. This one's not made out of paper though. Uh, Marugame, the city we're in, is popular for a huge production of uh, those paper fans, which is a very common thing here in Japan. And they have a museum, which I did not know about before coming here. So let's check it out. I think you can also make fans and stuff like that. Make your own fan. I don't know if we're gonna go that far, but we'll see. It's nasty empty right now. There's nobody in the parking lot here. One family about to leave, which is great for me. That's the magic of traveling on a weekday. Let's see what this place is all about. 
Not sure how much I'll be able to film on the inside, but uh. Let's check it out. Check out the process of making one of these fans. And you can indeed make your own fan. It takes about an hour total. You got a lot to it. This place is really, really small, but looks pretty cool. And free entry, I guess. They didn't charge me anything for walking in. It's only if you buy a fan or make a fan. Okay, this room is pretty cool. Look at that one, that thing is huge. It's like the one Jabba the Hutt slaves would have to use or something for them. It's just fans everywhere. Different styles, different types. Unfortunately, no same day reservations apparently for the making of the fan. So if you want to do it, you're going to have to uh, reserve it first and then come here a day later at least. Costs about $8 to make one. Uh, from the pictures, it looked very traditional in the sense that I think you might get an, a, an old Japanese person who doesn't speak English. So I don't know how easy it would be for foreigners to experience it but there you have it if you're if you're in the area it's very very small but if you're in the area check it out the Uchiwa Museum quick side mission here this is the Taskedoro stone lantern located not too far from uh, the fan museum and the port here, as you can see. Looks like a, from the cable coming out the back of it, it is indeed a working lantern, although not real fire, I would assume. Probably looks pretty cool at night. We're not gonna be here to see it, but. Sometimes when you're riding along on your electric bike, you, you see something off in the distance and you got to make a side mission, you know? That's that RPG life. We are currently on the castle grounds, Marugame Castle, trying to get to the top here. It's apparently a 10 minute walk from the bottom according to the sign that was at the bottom. But it is, it is quite a steep walk, a lot of hills. And it is nasty hot out here, so I'm getting a little worn out, but uh, we're going to get there. Awesome mountain town view here and the midway point up to the castle. Taking a little breather. I 
think we're, we might be, I think we're a little bit more than midway actually. There's like a lookout over here. Let's see what kind of view we get from this one, from this side. Oh gosh, guys, I am. It is hot out here, y'all. I think it's like 90 maybe. And I'm just straight out in the sun. Forgot, forgot my suntan lotion and all that stuff. I'm just out here willy-nilly. It's more view. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, let's go, this is it, wait is this it, this is it, I believe this is it, this is the castle, it is quite small, Arugami Castle, it is quite small, that is true, but hear me out, hear me out, it is one of uh, 12 remaining wooden castles. So that's actually wood right there. It's pretty basic from a design point of view. White, black, white castle, black ceiling. But it's pretty cool that it's wooden, especially because a lot of them are not wooden anymore. But yeah, you could run around this mug in easily less than a minute. Probably in the museum on the inside, so I guess we'll go see. Uh, if there's anything on the inside worth looking at. <laughs> All right, yeah. We ate delicious udon. We saw the smallest castle in Japan. I think that's all in a day's work, no? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit me with a like, subscribe. Comment, share, one or all of those, whichever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep exploring.